It's getting pretty windy on this path, and as you can see, it's not much of an edge to it. Well, that is a look at the harrowing journey two Canadian brothers were determined to finish. Now, the pair reaching new heights, climbing to the base camp of Mount Everest, and they made the trek, all the while carrying canoes on their backs. And brothers Kyle Roberts and Tom Schellenberg join me now from Nepal. Gentlemen, uh, thanks uh, so much for joining us. And first of all, uh, Kyle, could you tell us a bit about the inspiration uh, behind this journey? Yeah, sure, no problem, Jeff. Um, Tom and I grew up camping with our family in Algonquin Park as kids doing long portage trips. And two years ago, we came over to Mount Everest uh, base camp over a 14-day trek, and we decided that we wanted to try and carry canoes there as a way of raising money for mental health. A fantastic cause, and the trip to and from the base is about 200 uh, kilometers in total. And uh, Tom, just exactly, uh, where are we speaking to you guys now? Yeah, we're in uh, Lukla, Nepal right now, which, so we just actually had our last day of trekking down to Lukla. Um, so, yeah, just right on the edge of the Himalayas. Yeah. And Kyle, after 18 days of portaging, can you describe the feelings the two of you had when you finally reached a base camp? Uh, I understand it was pretty emotional. Yeah, it was an absolutely incredible feeling with working on the project for two years leading up to those 18 days and then 18 days of the most strenuous physical activity imaginable to get there. Um, and also because there was a lot of, um, there was a, a lot behind it in terms of mental health, like friends and family and the Nepalese people. It was um, an incredible feeling. We all just started crying when we got there. It was such a relief, even though we, we still had to get back down. It was an incredible feeling to actually arrive at our goal. And you mentioned just how strenuous this is and what a physical challenge. Uh, what have been, Tom, some of the challenges? Uh, I understand that you actually uh, injured your foot uh, along the way? Yeah, yeah, there's been a few challenges along the way, but probably the most substantial for me was uh, an infected toe, really. Um, just from the beginning, we did a lot of ascent and descent through the foothills of the Himalayas to get um, to get there. Um, you know, it's not just one mountain that we're climbing. we got to get all the way in, about 200 kilometers. And... My foot, uh, the nail got pushed back into my foot and then it caused an infection. And so there was a point where just even taking a step was very, very painful. Um, still have an infection now and trying to deal with it. But since it's the off season here, getting medication and getting treatment isn't too much of an option. So um, hoping to get that soon when we get back to Kathmandu. Yeah, and obviously you two are in the spotlight here, but a journey like this isn't uh, done alone or even with just the, the two of you. Can you tell us a bit, uh, Kyle, uh, what the response has been like and some of the support you, you've been getting from uh, maybe those back home? Yeah, the, the support has been overwhelming. Leading up to the project, we've had so many um, great sponsors get on board. Um, also, we've had so many friends and family just help in various ways getting ready to, to go on the trip. And then on top of that, we've got a support crew that's been with us here every day of the trip. Our younger brother, Seton Roberts, is filming a documentary of the whole project, which will be done in about uh, six months. We've got our good friend, Dane Wilkes, and also our two friends, Fiona Young and Maggie Siegler as well, um, who are all on the support crew and have, have been integral to our success in arriving at base camp. I can just imagine some of the footage you've gathered already for that upcoming uh, documentary. Gentlemen, congratulations on the uh, journey and such a great cause. Kyle Roberts and Tom Schellenberg with us. Gentlemen, we'll uh, talk soon.